So after three years of exclusively flying analog, we're gonna try something new today. We have in here the DJI Goggles 2, first time trying digital. Not to mention, we have the iFlight uh, Nazgul Evoke 5 inch dead cat with the O3 module. So today's a big day at first. We're gonna maiden this, we're gonna maiden that, we're just gonna maiden everything. We're even gonna maiden me with digital. But of course, given that it's Canada, we just have one slight problem here. This bad boy is not conformal coated, it's straight up bind and fly. I.e. no crashing today, Tom. Okay, so the drone's turned on. I'm gonna put these goggles on for the first time, see drone perspective. Oh my. I don't even know how to record DVR or like record drone or anything. Okay, there's some chromatic aberrations on the fly data in the bottom right, which is kind of annoying. I don't know how to record DVR. Creating mild fogging already. Either way, let's We stressed out here. We're out. Oh my god, this feels like I'm flying a GoPro. I can't even explain. This is so weird. My heart's racing so much. I haven't had a nice little heart race like this from FPV in so long. Oh my god. I don't know the up tilt to this drone, so I'm kind of trying to figure out my coordination. Sorry, I can't even think. I'm just like so in awe of this right now. It's wild. I'm so used to analog, I don't know, maybe, yeah, this, this O3 just has to be better than, has to be better than the Vista stuff. It's coming low. Wow, this drone is nuts. Handles so insane. Oh, there's a little bit of a purr there. Let's just go nice and slow, try her for some cruising. Oh my god, I can't even... I can't get over this! The aspect ratio, or like the width is so different with this O3 unit. Holy fudge! This is wild! Oh my god, I can't wait to like go on a trip with this. Okay, let's test out a little bit of range here. So there's spots that I know I normally can't fly. So I normally struggle pretty hard going behind this building. I either have to be behind the building. Not, not even a blip. Not even a blip. What the hell? Oh, this wild. That is so wild. Okay, I'm just at a loss for words here. Let's just try some nice high landscapey stuff. It's so nice having the the view. What the hell? Oh my god! I can see my altitude too. Oh god, that gunshot scared the piss out of me. Okay. This drone just flies insanely well. O3 is insanely good looking. 
this is oh, the goggles are so nice except the fogging my right eye I can't even like see out of right now it's completely hazy it's like I have cataracts or something oh, first low battery warning okay so let's just bring her in I don't want to push my luck here First, uh, first digital flag in the books. I'm, uh, I'm a bit of a fan. Let's kill the recording, though. I don't know how. Record, 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 record. We're done. Okay, let's uh, recover the drone. So we're ready for round two. I've never tried flying 16 by nine. I've only done four by three before. So we're gonna give that a test, just so that we can get some 4K footage and see how it goes. We're down in the snow. Of course, we're down in the snow. Hopefully we don't just randomly die now. Find out how waterproof this drone is the hard way. Oh, there was some jetter. This is a lot different than the 100 FPS mode. In the 60 FPS, this is really weird, to be honest. I am not used to this 16 by nine stuff doesn't feel nearly as clear I can I swear I can feel the latency but I don't know how to tell what that is I don't know anything about digital so I don't know how to set all that up I'm definitely way less confident in my flying the way that this is I can see some like digital noise and stuff Heart's racing again though. Okay, let's just fly. Let's just fly and not stress it. Is there a way out up here? Yeah, there is. Okay. I definitely need another one of these so that I can confidently break one of these. I have no idea what my range is like here. RSSI seems fine. Man, I used to be... Man, the friggin' range. Okay, so I could hardly ever fly back here. I think now that we're confident in this, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to come park back here and then fly some of this river. Oh, my megabits is down. It's up. It's down. And I think we're just going to get some cinematics in the forest, and then we'll uh, just call it a day. We'll test it out for that stuff. But, oh my god, I can see the branches. And then there's the first little bit about this frame. I'm not sure how I feel. Because there's a whole bunch of dirt. There's like a big opening. Right, if you go nose down, right there, it's just going to jam-pack a whole lot of dirt in underneath your camera but I mean other than that the frames friggin incredible okay so learned a valuable lesson with the O3 so if you have it set to not record when you take off but you have it set to record with both cameras and you start recording before you arm only your DVR records so we didn't get any onboard recording so we're back for take two I'm here with the girls in the back we got me and Luna, and then we got the old man here to see <laughs> yeah. the digital. So if you know anything about me as a pilot, you know that I like to use analog to skirt the edge, and I've always been afraid of DJI systems because of the instantaneous fall off. I don't know the fall off, fall off of this system at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the old man and the dogs to just walk down through the trail, and I'm gonna follow him with the drone, go ahead of him with the drone, and we're we're. We're just going to push it until the video gives out and see what happens. And I'll be on recovery mode again. Yeah, the old yeah. man's going to catch it. The second time. Second, no, whoa. Nothing happened. Me. <laughs>
<laughs> found it. Yeah, I found it. I saw it. What happened? Yeah. You, you saw it happen? Yeah, I saw it happen. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that. Okay, okay. See you in the drone in a sec. So editor Tom here in the future here to provide commentary. As you can see on the bottom right, I got an SD card read write speed slow. I don't know if that was the cold temperatures affecting the SD card or if my SD card is just failing. It was about the fifth flight in and it worked and that this has been my full proof card for ages with my GoPro. So we're going to test it a bit more, but I think I'm just going to buy an SD new SD card to deal with that. So anyways, we're starting to pull into the path here. Having done this with analog in the past here, we're about 135 meters through forest and my video would have completely cut out. I would have had to turn around by now. So at this point, my mind is absolutely blown. We're only down to 30, 25 megabits per second. Visual quality is definitely starting to go. And I was getting a little weirded out by that, but I just wanted to push it and see see how bad it gets and see where the, the fail safe is. I, just didn't know what to expect, but we need to learn what to expect. And you can see my SD card went into a read write protected and the timer got all jumpy there. Which of course happened at the exact same moment that the old man was standing in the middle of the path with the dogs as my visual quality was getting down to 4 megabits per second. So, you know, that's FPV. Everything that goes wrong can go wrong at once. There's the SD card error. But for the sake of learning this new O3 system and the digital fall off, we're just going to keep pushing through this blurry mess compared to to analog. I mean, it's not that bad. I'm used to having completely black and white with a lot of just little speckles so that you can only sort of see a silhouette with zero color. But I mean, the fact that we have full color blobs, I can see trees and branches and stuff better than I would be able to with analog to even begin with. So the wild part about flying here was the latency. It was sort of, I don't know if you've ever played like Rust or Rocket League or Call of Duty or some type of multiplayer game, but you play on a server that's on the other side of the ocean. The reaction, that's what it felt like. So the main part here is that I can still fly slow. If, I, if I'm if i in an emergency situation, I can still make my way back to myself. But there's the weak image transmission single. At one megabits per second, we're flying at one megabit per second. The latency is like 300 milliseconds. I was absolutely losing my mind at this point. I was stressing I was going to crash. I was just trying to focus and keep going, but we made it to two, three, and the SD card is back. The image transmission is not warning me anymore. We're still able to fly. It's impressive that that warning only comes on at one megabit per second. We almost had the fail safe, but we didn't make it. The video quality is coming back. We went 180 meters through trees and still had image. I'm absolutely blown away, but... That's it for this video, so if you could, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'm a completely unsponsored pilot. I'm paying for everything out of my own pocket. Do expect formal reviews of the drone, the goggles, and the video transmission system coming up. After that debacle of a day learning the system on the fly, we just need a little more time to produce everything. Anyways, have a good day.